this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark. And the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? OK, best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. Well played, that's correct. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Of course it is, that's the right answer. Here's question number three, it's worth £300. That's absolutely correct, well done. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. No problems there. That's the right answer. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Yes, that's the right answer. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 Which of the following would be most likely to issue an edict called a fatwa? Buddhist monk, Hindu priest, Catholic bishop, Muslim cleric. Now, are you happy for it to go orange? It's worth £2,000. Jolly good, it's the right answer. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. The first line of which Shakespeare play is Boatswain, Twelfth Night, The Tempest, Macbeth, Hamlet, Final answer. You lose a grand if it's wrong. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. Which airport's name is derived from the Anglo-Saxon for goat farm? Heathrow. Prestwick, Stansted, or Gatwick? Well played, you're absolutely right. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. Which of these was Robbie Williams' first solo UK number one single? No regrets, angels, rock DJ, millennium.
Congratulations, that's the right answer. OK, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. Aisle sitters is US slang for what? Cheap seats, critics, programme sellers or understudies? Well played, that's correct. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Permission to speak, sir, was a phrase popularised by which character in Dad's army? Captain Mannering, Sergeant Wilson, Corporal Jones, or Private Pike? Now, there's no changing your mind once it's gone orange. Is that your final answer? That's absolutely correct. Well played. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. How was Lieutenant Templeton Peck better known in a popular 1980s series? Paunch, Face Man, Street Hawk, Manimal. Take as long as you need. Yes, that's the right answer. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Which American author wrote the book Bright Lights, Big City? Brett Easton Ellis, Douglas Copeland, Jeff Noon, or Jay McInerney? Are you absolutely sure we're talking about a huge amount of money here? Yes, you're absolutely correct. Well played. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14 but think very carefully about what you want to do. Which soap was created by Tony Warren? EastEnders, General Hospital, Emergency Ward 10, Coronation Street. That's correct, well done. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. In Jude the Obscure, what fictitious name does Thomas Hardy give to Oxford? Christchurch, Christminster, Christ Town, Christ Bridge. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?